previously with Marshall Sharp. And my grandmother has no idea that I'm doing all of this. So we're gonna surprise her. I need that red bird. I'll just do two of them. I'm definitely gonna be putting him in the cart. So Morgan, box him up for me. All right, everyone, I have officially got all of the balls onto the tree. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I just finished the Christmas tree. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. All right, you guys, it is time to wrap this up. We have just got to put on all the finishing touches here at the house, and we will be good to go. Just got off the phone with my grandmother. Now, I don't think I've even explained to you where she even is. My grandmother is up in Raleigh, North Carolina right now, visiting with um, some family that we have up there, but she's on her way back home. She has no idea that, this is, that any of this is going on. So right now, we have just got to do the finishing touches, and we'll be good to go. Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear. So will you please light my way and lead this old man's sleigh? I said, Rudolph, my friend. All right, you guys, things are starting to finally come together. Also, I highly recommend decorating with a friend. <laughs> It'll make things go a lot smoother and quicker. But yes, everything's looking good. All right, that drops. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> All right, raise her up high. All right, everyone, our Christmas decorations are officially complete. I give to you our Christmas house tour 2019. All right, everyone, I am going to take you through this room and show you everything before Nana gets here. Um, so let's begin right here on our couch. This room I wanted to do overall very nostalgic and old traditional Christmas decorations. So our color scheme this year is navy blue, burgundy, silver, and gold. So as you can see, I found some new pillows this year to add to our couch. We have these beautiful navy blue pillows that I found from Amazon. I included um, some furry pillows that I also found from Amazon just to give it some more character. And then these I've had for um, a couple of years and I threw them and added them to the mix just to give it more um, brightness because this couch is pretty dark. Um, so yeah. Above our couch is this gorgeous mirror, and this year I wanted to just do a simple um, garland hanging on the mirror, and I added different things like ornaments, picks, and I added these beautiful hanging balls from the garland. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, still in our color scheme. Hey! On either side of our couch this year, we added these new beautiful trees that light up. There are even like little flowers at the very tips of the lights, which I think is gorgeous. It's like almost like cherry blossom. So I love that. On either side, we also have these toy soldiers. Now, this year I wanted to do huge life-size nutcrackers, but um, they were a little over budget. Um, 
uh, $600 a piece to be exact and that's just not <laughs> we're not there yet sweetie so these will have to do for now these cute little toy soldiers and we even added some stars above them I think that is so pretty all right now above our television this year by the way we painted our uh, TV unit cream to match the rest of our um, furniture I think it looks so much better um, check it out you guys this is our Christmas village scene that we have created above the TV this year I think it turned out so beautiful if I do say so myself now this year I wanted to do something different but you know besides a wreath I'm sick of wreaths so I started thinking and I thought why don't we do a moon how beautiful would that be to do a moon above the TV and to create the full scene? And I even found some cloud stickers that you can just stick on the walls. We've even included these gorgeous fairy lights and I've even hung icicles off the tips of the lights to make it look like it's snowing down on the village. Oh, I love it. And then right here, I just threw a, just a simple piece of garland with our same ribbons and ornaments to match the Christmas tree. All right, are you ready to see the tree? Here she is. everyone this is our Christmas tree this year in our family room we have never had a Christmas tree in here like I said earlier um, and I absolutely love it it is so beautiful oh my gosh I don't even know where to begin so I guess we can start with our tree topper I am obsessed again Amazon thank you I wanted to do a deer as our tree topper this year I don't know why I knew I wanted something different besides a star or an angel um, so I came up with a deer and I think he looks beautiful he's silver and gold at the same time which is perfect um, moving down we have an array of different ornaments different balls um, we have carolers we have a bunch of random ornaments in the mix of things like right here I love this little baby piano I think that one might be like one of my favorite ornaments this year. I just, I think it's so cute. Um, also for this tree, since our tree topper is a deer, I kind of focused on the reindeer on the tree. So count and see if you can see how many deer are on this tree. Okay, leave me a comment down below. All right, so we have a train right here at the very bottom here, let me... <clears throat> so i think it gives a very you know polar express vibe don't you think i love it it stays with our nostalgic christmas vibe that we're going for this year we've got our picks we've got our balls our ornaments we've even got like a lantern over here there's so much to look at um but uh I think it turned out absolutely amazing and I hope my grandmother loves it. All right, you guys, I forgot to show you one little thing while we were walking through. Let me turn these lights off, it's a little bright. Come on over back to the village. Now, you saw the moon, but I just want to show you what I can also do with this tiny little remote when it comes to the moon. Um, I'm a little bored, you know, I'm kind of sick of a full moon vibe. Let's do um, a crescent, half, quarter, Cool. Love it. On this wall, we have a gorgeous Noel sign that we got this year. And little fact for you, uh, Noel actually means Christmas in French. But you didn't know that. Learn something new every day, don't you? All right. So over here in this little corner, I have this gorgeous new Santa Claus. And yes, he is in our color scheme that matches the rest of this room. Pretty on point. Stay sharp, baby. Um, now, you might be thinking to yourself, Santa Claus is decked out this year. Well, 
I wanted to do something a little bit special for my grandmother and I wanted to include past relatives and past family members that are no longer with us. And so if you take a look here, Santa Claus is holding this gorgeous, gorgeous antique watch that belonged to her stepfather. He is also holding this beautiful ring right here that belonged to my grandmother's mother. So that would be my great grandmother who is no longer here with us. And even the Christmas tree behind him has all these different pieces of jewelry and different things that mean special um, things to her and her family. So I think that is really special and I think she's really going to love it. Now if we take a look over here to the other side of the couch, we again have the same thing that mirrors this side just to give it um, symmetry and balance. But I want you to take a look at this. I love this so much. First of all, can we appreciate the two turtle doves? Hey! Um, and between them, I have this light here now. Check it out. Oh, there she is! Boom! Look at that. It's a little moon. So that connects with our moon above the TV there. It's all about the little details. All right, so that wraps it all up for our family room this year. I hope you love it as much as I do. I think it turned out absolutely incredible. Now, we added a few new little touches to our other rooms in the house, and I want to show you that right now, starting with our dining room. Let's go on inside. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I bought a new Santa Claus. Check him out, yes! This is where Santa sits and um, waits for Christmas to arrive. And then over here, yes, I added a picture. Gee, I wonder who the photographer was. It's pretty dreamy, wouldn't you say? Hmm. <sighs> Moving on, we're going to go to the living room. All right, so now we are in our living room. If you watched last year's Christmas house tour, it's basically the same. We have added a few new things here and there, which is what I'm going to show you right now check this out isn't this absolutely gorgeous it's a santa claus in a telephone booth and it blows glitter continuously i had to have it i think it's absolutely gorgeous over here if you look we've put these trees up in these corners and i've even added um polar bears and little white owls isn't that cute all right and then over here by this chair um, we have added this. This is new this year. I never, I've never seen anything like this. An angel kneeling, um, no, an angel with Santa Claus kneeling to baby Jesus. I thought that was so unique and different. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Then we have a gorgeous Bible here. And then above this table, we have a gorgeous um, portrait painting of the nativity. Somewhere in our house we always have a nativity scene because that is the true meaning of Christmas to us and our family. Um, over here, same tree as last year, nothing really new, it's still gorgeous, still beautiful. I did however add this little angel to the very top of our tree. She's so pretty and she matches the topper, the light, perfectly. Our fireplace here is the same, same wreath. I did add a nutcracker here to the bottom. I love him so much. He's gorgeous. He sort of, um, you know, keeps our living room safe. He's our security. And then same tree over here as the one over there with a, another little polar bear. Love it. Super cute. All right, and here is our <laughs> Camera over here. Cut that out. <laughs> Next, we are going to take a look at our bathroom. Basically did the same thing as last year, but come on in. Um, now, I love this tree so, so, so much. I don't know why. I think it's, it's something different. I've never seen anyone else do a ballerina Christmas tree. It reminds me of the Nutcracker, and I love the Nutcracker and um, the dance. I think it's beautiful. Um, we even have included a flocked Christmas wreath here, another piece of garland, and then here on our toilet, <laughs> we have even embellished the toilet uh, with a beautiful clear icy tree, 
and these little cute little angels look at them you guys and we've even um uh, i had some extra pearls that i used in our christmas tree and i just like threw them here on the toilet i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i've even like just thrown some extra ornaments that we had on top of it i think it's gorgeous and then if you look over here we have even more pearls right over here with these clear trees um if you watched my last youtube video you would know that we had a little debacle about the pearls situation but nonetheless we have found a true home for them in our bathroom. <laughs> All right, everyone. So before my grandmother gets here, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for uh, a minute and kind of talk things over. It's about to get a little emotional. The emotions are coming out, but whatever. Um, so my grandmother is 74 years old. And Christmas to me means many things, but um, one of the main things that I think about when Christmas comes around is decorating and decorating our homes. And my grandmother is starting to finally feel her age this year, we've noticed. And that breaks my heart to say the least, but um, that is the main reason why we are filming this today. It's not about the decorations. It is not about me putting out another YouTube video. This is um, me recording a moment that I can hold on to for the rest of my life. Because, um, let's be real, I won't always have her in my life. And um, I just wanted to have a video that I can look back on for the rest of my life to re cherish this memory that I hold so dear to my heart, which is Christmas and decorating and family. So that is what this is about. So I just wanted to tell you guys that before we um, bring her in and show her the final results. All right, everyone, just got off the phone with Nana. She is officially here. She just pulled up in her car. I'm gonna go meet her outside and bring her in and show her the house. Come on! Hey, Nana. Welcome home. Hey. You got everything? All right. Everything. All right. Oh, so, heavy on this. As you, I have a little surprise for you, Nana. Really? Yeah. As you can see, we are filming for YouTube. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Go ahead and take your coat off. Um, I just want to show you, we have been decorating for Christmas. I see. Yes. What do you think about the lights? I love them, Marshall. Isn't it pretty? Now, normally we have our Christmas tree over here, yep. but I moved it over here. Do you like that? I like that? it. I love how you framed it. Yes, it's beautiful. All right, are you ready to see the main surprise? You've done more? Yeah. All right, Nana. Welcome to your family room. Marshall. Oh, my word. My life shadow's going. <laughs> Look, Nana, turn a around. Tree, a tree. Yes. That's where my where's my chair? <laughs> she, she's in a storage. <laughs> That's a good Christmas present. Then I'll get me a new chair. Yes. What do you oh, think about this? Look at, oh, I love it. Oh, I love that. Did you do all this by yourself? Yes, me and I had a couple of few little helpers, you know. Samantha? Samantha. Haley, Haley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you get on the stay? You know, nails, nails and uh, nails. some wire. You know. And wire. What do you think about the toy soldiers? Some of them. On either side. Oh, I like that too. 
Above our, yep, our, above our wall. And stars. <laughs> <laughs> New pillows. <laughs> Marshall, you have gone all out. Is this out of my account or your account? Uh, my account. <laughs> what do you I think? Look, it. even the little train. Yeah. How about the tree topper? <laughs> yes, the deer. <laughs> my What's Lord. your favorite part? I love that. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have something else a little special to show you. Myself. Okay? Come on over here by the Santa Claus. If you notice, I have added a few little things to the Santa Claus. Um, this was the ring that your mother mm -hmm. used yeah. to wear. She loved it. And this is the watch that belonged to your stepfather. Mm -hmm. That was a railroad watch. Yep. Just little touches of them. Where did you find them? They were in your bedroom. You've been ransacking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. And her room. It's pretty Marshall. Thanks. I hope you love it. And the I Noel. I like it. How'd you yeah. get them so perfect? What can I say? A lot of measuring. A lot of measuring. All right, now let's <laughs> freshen you up a little bit. We got an outro to film. Is that gum? Spit it out. <laughs> Powder that nose. <laughs> Some way you can make that look a little tad shorter. <laughs> Honey, this ain't Photoshop. With, high, with highlighting. <laughs> All right, Haley, grab Nana's red coat. Coat? You want me to put a coat on? Yeah. All right, everyone, that concludes our Christmas house tour for 2019. We freshened Nana up here. <laughs> what do you think, Nana? I think it's beautiful, Marshall. You love it? Yes, I do love it. What would you say is your favorite part this year in this room? In this room, mm -hmm. I like the nativity with the lights. The Christmas village? The porch I like around the door mm -hmm. that you've done. I like the Santa Claus in the dining room. Yeah. And nothing's any prettier than the tree in the living room. Oh, so you've got a lot of favorites. Yep. Well, I'm the same way. Everything's so pretty. We've worked so hard, you guys, but I think it's paid off. Um, these are special memories that we will have and cherish for many years to come. And I love you so much, Nana. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, remember to stay sharp. Bye.